Excuse me. Hi, my name is Jeremy Michaels, and I'm a gay senior living with AIDS. Um, I have I've lived in the castle for nearly four decades, and I'm now being evicted from my apartment of almost four, of almost 18 years by real estate speculators through use of the Ellis Act to likely create TICs, and like many with no other place in San Francisco where I can afford to live. I'm completely against this condo conversion legislation, and here's why. Condo conversions were limited in 1981 to 200 annually because of a dramatic increase in the cannibalization of the rental housing market, a trend which unfortunately continues today. The real estate lobby has twice tried to repeal these limits by proposition in 1989 and in 2002, but both times were soundly defeated by the voters. I consider this proposed legislation with its dubious claim of promoting low-income housing through an even more dubious fee structure as nothing more than another attempt to do away with these limits and do an end run around the will of the voters. Understand that TIC owners should have known before they bought a TIC that the annual, uh, about the annual con condo conversion limits, and they made the decision to buy anyway. And while I do have sympathy for these owners regarding their high mortgage payments, I think it, this is a problem better directed towards the banks. I sympathize more with long-term tenants who through no fault of their own were evicted by real estate speculators through the Ellis Act or threatened with an Ellis eviction and intimidated into moving just so these speculators could make huge profits and then create the TICs that most of these people now own. Allowing mass condo conversions will only encourage more real estate speculation, more Ellis evictions, and more TICs at the further expense of less affluent renters, including those barely subsisting under rent control today. And this is not this is just not good or moral public policy. The majority of our citizens are renters, living in a city where median rents are now a ridiculous three thousand dollars per month because we don't have a co coherent housing policy. And now some long-term and even lifelong citizens, mostly seniors and the disabled on fixed incomes, living under rent control for 10, 15, 25 years or more, have, having gone through Ellis evictions, have been forced to leave their own city um, because they can no longer afford to live here. So why aren't our supervisors fighting for them to stay in their homes? by further limiting Ellis Act abuse by real estate speculators. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, all by putting yeah. together a coherent housing policy based on the needs of all its citizens and not just our more affluent members in the real estate lobby. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should ask our supervisors who, who they really represent. All of their constituents or just the affluent few? The people of San Francisco or moneyed interests like the real estate lobby and the banks? And then we should vote accordingly. Thank you for listening. Yeah.